Hand clap to the master guys, we are definitely back again for another one of these set of one of these slicks react channel. Big up my people, big up for another reaction right there. And of course, big up the masses out large. By the way, guys, shout out to all those who reach out today and big up man, big up massive love right there for today. For those of you know, you know if you don't know, you don't know. Big up the masses one time for definitely reach out. And all the match born people, big up yourself, my people. Big up yourself, man. Round of applause goes out to each and every one of you guys who will be celebrating your birthday in this year, March season. And of course, March is a wonderful time, man. They, they, they call it March the, 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 the fish, man. Where people have to rise up from the from the ocean, man. Anyways, I don't know about that whole situation with vices and whatnot. But big up the masses, Outland, Outland Large. And big up the Mr. Lixon for tuning in to yet another reaction video ready and then. By the way, guys, give this video a thumbs up for all the March born masses out, out, out there. Everybody. Everybody big up yourself one time. Thumbs up, man. I give you a thumbs up. I click in the thumbs up for all you one time right there. Anyways, guys, concerning the situation of being March right there, we can pretty much see that there's something. Let me bend this thing properly for you guys to see. You know, some people, they don't know how to, to take photo, man. They don't know how to take photo. They just click clack in and look at that. Oh, cleanest. Anyways, guys, this Rona situation is being asked right now. Travel measures will be asked this week. I'm not sure if it was last week or this week, but I got this a number of times. And, of course, individuals were telling me that this is taking place in the UK. So, I think it's this is going to happen this. Yes, it's this Friday. It's going to happen because uh, Mr. Lixfam is actually leaving Dominica. She actually spent 10 months in Dominica because of the whole Rona situation. She's checking that way that in the UK. So, she lived there and come down for to free up herself. And now that they have these measures removing, she's actually going to be leaving on Friday. She told me this as well. So safe journeys to her when she goes back. Hopefully I get to meet you tonight as well. So she, anyways. Uh, but yeah, guys, based on this thing right there, no more will uh, pre-travel um, tests, Rona tests be required for entry into the UK. Of course, that whole situation will be di uh, ditched. Guys, my camera just died there. But we're back again, guys. Like I said before, this whole situation will be ditched. All remaining traveling measures, including the need for all the unjabbed individuals to be tested before entry, will end on Friday 4th. Uh, not Friday 4th, but on the four, at 4 a.m. Friday. Wait, why didn't they just put it at 12, 12, 12 01? Friday. Guys, it's 12 o'clock on 12 o'clock. Like, let's say it's 12 a.m. Thursday or it's on Friday. <laughs> is it the Friday? I guess it's a completion right there. So it will most likely be Friday. Why didn't you just make it 12 a.m. Friday? Why 4 a.m.? People will be sleeping at that time. Probably people traveling. When you're traveling, coming at 3 a.m., they still have to be required to, to get these, these, these tests done and whatnot. But I don't know. What is, what is the big issue with the 4 a.m.? But it is what it is right there, guys. The good thing is it's ending and it's, of course, getting rid of. Uh, changes mean greater freedom in time for Easter. I guess they're preparing for Easter. And, of course... You can continue reading this thing right there. As I, I'm, I'm reading this thing, a thought came to mind that the, the Chinese are actually facing another situation with the Omicron right there. It seems like it's spreading all over the place, but it's not anything to panic about. It's not anything to go crazy about in this regard. I mean, it's Omicron. It, it, it's going to finish. You know what I mean? That's the last strand that seems to be happening. There are weaker variants, but it's nothing to be concerned about in this regard. So I think it makes sense in this regard for them to get rid of this. And I know a number of pressure has been put on the government Especially when you're requiring things that doesn't work on people. But hopefully, YouTube will come for me when I see this. <laughs> right there. Anyways, guys, moving along in this regard right there. Concerning the whole situation involving the whole CBI initiative, man. Ah, it seems like there is a prime minister and the Syrian. I wonder if I can say that or anything. Anyways, guys, based on this article written on DNO on March 14th, Monday, that's two days ago. Um, PM Skerritt among Caribbean leaders advice to take EU threat of ending CBI seriously. They have decided to end it. I think the first one they did was a, a V place name. V, v, I can't remember, but its name starts with V. They ended that uh, the CBI uh, initiative with that country. So even if other people decide to go and buy passport and stuff, they still wouldn't be able to enter because they're not from the country they were not born in the country so they're ending pretty much ending these things people cannot just buy citizenship in this regard but on the whole situation right there guys my th more thought of this right there seems to be revolving on um the these countries the the developed countries trying to make the 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 developing countries more dependent on them um now i understand the whole cop thing that seems to be taking place with the cbi and you know criminals getting passports and this kind of things here and of course we know about the whole situation that's taking place in the east and, and you know that whole situation that pretty much put a damp on things, especially when the Caribbean is known for giving these places passports. 
Look, they even talk about the very Syrian one. I'm not sure if it's based on past, but obviously, that is the only thing Dominica is pretty much selling right now. But it seems like the, the, the developed countries are pretty much trying to make the developing countries more dependent on them yet again, since the develop, developing countries have been more pushed towards going to sell CBI uh, uh, passports and stuff for them to get their own money instead of relying on IMF and all the other um, institutions for them to make money. It seems like that is one of the things that they were trying to do. Um, definitely bring back um, to the roost or, or whatever the term is bring back to roost the chickens to roost back to IMF and a number of places right there but of course the Prime Minister them have been told that they should take this warning very seriously and of course we know from certain things we'll talk about that in a moment that the Prime Minister has definitely taken it serious right there not this one uh, Dominica Prime Minister is among Caribbean leaders who are being advised to take pronouncement by the European Union about ending citizenship by investment CIP uh, in the Caribbean. Seriously, Dominica and other countries selling citizenship look, uh, citizenship look set to be given an ultimatum by the EU. If they don't end it, they will face visa restrictions. And we know um, United States has visa restrictions, so you, anybody cannot just enter because they have a, a, a CARICOM's um, passport and thing. But the European Union say, okay, well, if you don't end it, then we're going to put visa restrictions on you. Which is rather interesting. But I'll leave that part alone. Right there. So they're saying, end it or face visa restrictions. Right there. So I think as a result of that, the individuals, the Caribbean leaders, have decided to end it. On the basis, I thought they were not going to end it. You know, they were going to make the people pay the price for it. Even though they are diplomatic passports and they can't, and they can't actually travel without visa restrictions. Um, but it was a good thing that I, I noticed that they're doing right there they need to begin to develop strategies to try to work with the eu to fashion a response that will allow the cip countries to maintain the programs and the visa free travel uh with uh europe or the european union right there he said actions i think that's a scary they're talking right there he said actions must be taken now agreeing that any such move is this scary they're talking here let me see the european parliament voted that the commission uh let me see Tommy he said Dominica and other countries opening CIP should begin to rally around the stakeholders in the industry. I guess that's the Prime Minister speaking right there. Anyways, he said the action must be taken now, agreeing that any such move could seriously hit the economies of the car other countries whose economies rely largely on the sale of passports. I told you that. I told you that right there. Uh, they know that the, uh, the Caribbean is relying heavily on, on selling CPI, uh, C CIP. Uh, St. Kitts was doing the same thing right there, but they actually developed the country. And of course, Dominica was doing it Oh, I don't know if they're still doing it, but they was definitely doing it. I think it would be smarter if you, you stop your dirty, <laughs> you stop doing it, and then, you know, allow people to continuously be able to travel visa-free into Europe. Of course, I understand they also take on this, what you're saying, that it could be a, a security ri risk for them. No doubt about it. It could be a security risk, considering that, you know, anybody seems to who have money to be able to do it. We're buying passports, especially understanding that so much criminals have Dominica passports and Dominica diplomatic passports. Come on. Ali Rezamon Farid is one of them. We can definitely point out to that one. At, at Alison Maduke. These people are supposed to be our ambassadors, yet still they had, you know, some sort of dirty ways that they had about, them, about themselves right there. International airport is being built. I would hate to even think about it. In countries like Dominica, the international airport, well, I don't think, oh, that's cats. So that's not scary. Um... Uh, in being built using CIP money, so you know now, no international airport, <laughs> no international airport going to build. I tell you straight, because they said they're going to take money from CBI or CIP, whatever you want to choose to call it. They're going to take money from there to give it to Anthony Hayden, I believe it is, and then he's going to take that money to help build airport and all kind of thing, and then they're going to then repay Anthony Hayden for money and those kind of things there. But you know, if you cannot sell passport to repay. People, you, no airport going to build. <laughs> so you guys can just pretty much forget about international airport right there. At least people hope so up. But I know it's going to go down. If with all them trucks, hey, they bring truck, eh? Yes, sir. You see how it can backfire now? They bring how much truck in to build international airport? Now I know for certain that international airport no can build. If all you don't think, if you only think I, I joking, just wait and see. Because they rely on CBI to build international airport true or false. So if CBI is not functioning now, how are they going to be an international airport? How are, they going to, how are they going to sell passport to, to give back money? No international airport coming here, guys. We have international airport right now. <laughs> Anyways, 
So many houses are being built on using the CPI money and whatnot, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, guys, you can continue reading this, this, continue reading this or go on Dominican News Online and get the full thing right there for yourself. But it's rather interesting that um, the Prime Minister is now talking about going into agriculture. I remember the Prime Minister saying, if not CBI, what else? Like I said before, before CBI, they were saying, if not um, VAT, Ian, Ian was saying that, if not VAT, what else? Then CBI came, so that was the what else. Now CBI came in, what else? As if we forget that VAT was not supposed to be, a VAT still going on me? They had VAT for, I think they were supposed to have VAT for like 10 months. VAT going for over 15 years. <laughs> Boy, 15 years now. I think that going for more than 15 years, more than 17 years for sure. That is there, man. That came to stay. And he said, if not that, what else? As if we didn't have agriculture and this kind of things there, we could actually do. In 2013, all he said it all is going to do. I'm a mortar. All he never went to it. No, I guess now is the time to do it. But I agree with the Prime Minister. I do agree with the Prime Minister. Agriculture is the way forward. Let's listen to what he had to say right there. Look at, look at the wicked soul, man. The wicked Okay, and the whole idea is to present this proposal to them from a company. Um, these shareholders in the company, the government will provide the land, the government will provide the greenhouses, the government will help you with the planting material to start up. Well, the good thing about that right there, guys, you can pretty much see the side that he had chose. They say abandon the CIP program or face. EU um, restriction, visa free re restrictions. So he's pretty much stating that they abandon the CIP program right there and looking for alternatives. The very alternatives that we had all the time. We had that all the time. Agriculture, I, I tell you, I listened to a number of economists since after Obama brought me to the United States, man. And I came down, I met up with a number of economists, know about the Caribbean and Dominican, this kind of things there. And they will literally tell you the best way for Dominica to go forward is agriculture. They literally tell you that because we have this soil, we are rich volcanic soil that can produce things. We are volcanics, we can even sell soil. We can sell soil. We went on top the mountain and we see the rich soil that we had on, on when we was doing the um, um, um hike. And Dominica has a number of things, not saying to go and mash up all the mountains in Dominica. But Magwesa, we have been mining coal here for how much? How long? Who that mining it now? <laughs> boy, we boy, boy, boy. You just hey, what do you think of this? You just want to cry. You just want to for 20 years you let that thing go. And now you're trying to go back to it. Anyways, guys, I talk. Let me go back, Paul. You only probably forget what he said. Okay, and the whole idea is to present this proposal to them from a company. From a company, um, yes. These shareholders in the company. Yes. The government will provide the land. Oh yes. So apparently it seems like we just get land. We just get land. They just find it like. <laughs> the government will provide the greenhouses. The government will help you with the planting material to start up. And the government... Where was you? Where was you? Where was you? <laughs> will provide you with labor for six months. You mentioned the provision of land as well? Yeah, land. And the public government will put in the irrigation system. So where was you doing... <laughs> so all you have to know is to use your, your knowledge in agriculture... Knowledge. Which knowledge you people have is the older folks that can pretty much do these things. The younger folks they are trying to move away from these things because you yourself put that in the head that there are other ways for them to go and make monies and stuff. You never incentivize the farmers, you never incentivize them. You put things, you, you give some boat, you give some um, thing, and that was it. But what about the markets you say you're going to find? I think it's two years ago you say you can find markets for the people of agriculture. Up to now, you don't find no market for them. But you're trying to incentivize the people. No, yes. I agree if you incentivize them because that is the way forward for Dominica. But where were you 15, 17 years ago? 17 years ago, you said you're going to be doing that very same thing you're saying you're going to be doing now. The only reason why you're doing it is not like you care. Because you realize that the basket of money that you were getting, and how much money, whatever money you was leaving outside there, and the amount of money you're bringing into Dominica, you realize that that is disappearing. So then you come to now try to entice the people to do the very thing that you were supposed to be doing in the very first place. We are agricultural nation. Now, we'll be competing with St. Lucia, St. Vincent, a number of places when we could have taken the market by storm. We are bigger than these countries. 
We are bigger than these countries. We could sell water, we could sell soil, we could sell a number of things. But no, CBI, if not CBI, what else? But you know what else though? Agriculture, not true. You see, that is what I do like about incompetent people. And you are very incompetent, Mr. Prime Minister. Very incompetent. Teach in accounting, knowledge in, in business, to manage this company. And which manage which company? So people don't have their own farms. What about the individuals? Are you going to incentivize the farmers themselves? Or are you going to build something for you to try to... They come and work in your business. For, because to me, they say they have um, different ministers who are actually involved in farming. I heard about a few, well, one of them in the north who has been doing this and exporting his stuff. And they're telling the rest of the, of, of the country what they're doing. They're also taking back the, the, the actual markets in Dominica. They literally are in charge of the markets of selling their produce to... Um, they are government officials, you know. Yet still, they don't want to stop at the amount of money they're getting on the salary. They want to make more. Nothing wrong with that. But when you literally not... You literally are the oligarchies in that sphere of, 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 of the agricultural sector. You're making a set of money while the, the poor man, the poor class of people who actually have the knowledge to do these things... You're not allowing them to do it. You want to take over the market yourself and then you sell into the different um, local um, supermarkets and those kind of things there. You're selling your products at a much cheaper rate. At a much cheaper rate than, than, than the, the, the thing because you are able to do that. Where you get the money to do these things? And I suspect right now the people are going to have to compete with the government because the government wants business for themselves now. They're talking about a company. What about incentivizing the farmers? Everybody I just want everything to come to all you so they work for all you. Manage the farm and to deal with and, and, and your knowledge of marketing to market the scrubs. Because But what are you talking about knowledge of marketing? Not you that say you're gonna do marketing, uh, you say you don't can find um markets in the place. That is what you not me that say that no. He that say that you know. You have to that's why you have to hold people accountable to the words that they say. Tupac said the very same thing. Whole artists and leaders are accountable to the things that they say. You said you're going to find the markets. I listened to you. I even said it on the reaction video. We're going to wait and see which markets you find. Up to now. Now you're talking about individuals going to find markets. Let me go back. Maybe it's me that do it properly. <laughs> Manage this company. Let's go back. Your knowledge in agriculture. Your knowledge in accounting. Your knowledge in, in business. To manage this company. And to manage the farm. And to deal with. And, and, and your knowledge of marketing. To market the scrubs. Because if we can, if I wonder, we can we can end the importation of broccoli <laughs> and cauliflower and bell peppers. Because we can grow them, not true. Just this. I'm not going to go into the others. There are many others we that can people grow are, 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 are just see it. mentioning as they just see it. But there's a whole list of those things, and we can produce it normally. <laughs> Guys, the first time I listening to that, and I know it's that he going to say, I know it's that he going to say. So apparently, we couldn't grow it before. That's why you have to import all these things all across the place. But now we can grow them. I remember this farmer. I have a set of tomato in his area, and he's talking about people importing tomato. You have a set of tomato that's dying right there in Dominica, right there, and yet still importing tomato. Now look at the price. Boy. You see, I'm making noise with Prime Minister, and I shouldn't be making noise with Prime Minister. And it's the people are allowing that to happen to themselves. It's the people. They choose to buy the imported stuff. They choose to make themselves become second and third class citizens. What do, what do you think that is? And you can see two, three, four million dollars in the short term staying in Dominica. Shouldn't it all come to Dominica? Shouldn't all the th thing come into Dominica? And, and shouldn't that be the visible uh, uh, or, or spread out amongst the people? So that the people can start growing as how they used to grow back in the day? I mean, if I was the government officials, the first thing I'll do, we are the economic, we are the agricultural basin. Or, because we are in the center of the Caribbean. We are the agricultural basin. We are the biggest among the Caribbean islands when it comes to agriculture among the smaller Caribbean islands. And we're in the mid, we're in the center ground. So you can go up and down, send all kind of things there. If I was the Prime Minister of Dominica, the first thing I would look at is what other countries need. And what the other countries need, we will produce. Therefore, we're producing what they want. Therefore, there's the demand and there's a supply for it. 
Look at the different Caribbean islands and see which ships, or not, not ships, and which boats, which cargo boats or whatever, from Dominica, because there's a number of them, from Dominica that we can actually outsource and say, okay, this is what we do, and get the farmers to come in to sell their produce. In that way, there's taxes from that. You get to go to the government, and if you want to do your own thing as well, come in. You know, produce for a number of Caribbean islands because we can go up and down. Especially places like Antigua that need a set of crops. We can then produce for them. We can put to the magnitude. But no, we were not doing that. No, we want to because CBI go down. If not CBI, that's the kind of thing that was put in our head. If not CBI, what else? But they know what else do. They know what else. I hear some fool on Facebook talking about tourism. Tourism is not the viability factor of Dominica. We are 20 years behind. We are 20 years behind because our focus was on what? CBI, 20 years behind, and the rest of the Caribbean islands, I look at St. Kitts, St. Kitts was in CBI too, you know, but St. Kitts actually bring in the funds for them to do things in their society, I listen to Dominicans in St. Kitts talking, and they, they have a nice standard of living, kind of like Texas, St. Kitts is like the Texas of the Caribbean, you know, imagine that, small St. Kitts. People with brain coming together and say, hey, let's come together and do something. And when they do something, they're not hiding or not trying to hide things. They actually bring the money inside the country for them to do things. Developing the arts and craft. Developing the skill set of the people. So they can then produce more. And try to bring in more foreign exchange. Especially when tourists come in. And this is why St. Kitts has one of the highest tourist um, and businesses in, in the Caribbean. So even if CBI don't work out for them, they have tourists. Because they actually take that money from CBI and put it in tourism. But what we are taking our money and do, we take our money and build colorful cats. <laughs> colorful box, cart on Bayfront. And Bayfront was supposed to be a chill spot for individuals. That is the original why Bayfront was created, you know. For individuals to come and chill, relax. There was a blue fountain, water fountain going on there. A nice little scenery. Even the tourists that would come in, they were literally coming into the island and relax there. I remember. I remember it. See a set of white people on, on the thing, sit down and they're eating certain things and you have this number of shops and people go in the shops and you come back on Bayfront and chill and relax and eat and people mingle in the different order, find out, meeting new people and those kind of things there. Right now, the square of a certain area, they have a colorful boxes inside. They're saying that is vendor, vendor box and then vendors. <laughs> anyways, let me continue. So anyways, Melissa, the brilliant Melissa with the, with the technological degree that she graduated in some school that Apparently had a different graduation going than her, but she graduated, Papa. She has bought in right now, guys, saying young professionals, as if the young prof professionals just arrived in Dominica, they were nowhere seen before, but they arrived in Dominica now, saying young professionals, now is your time. Ah, your moment to shine, did he sell? The government is granting access to agricultural lands. That's great. I'm happy about that. My problem is, where were you guys? Granting these lands when people were actually complain and want to do things. You know how much people who are brilliant in agriculture? One of my boys from Colio, he left. Brilliant guy in agriculture, teaching people how to do backyard gardening and all those kind of things there. He left. A number of people and of course he, he won some awards in agriculture in Dominica. And what they did with him, absolutely nothing. Nothing. He's left now. Doing agri illegal agriculture and thing, he working doing a little agriculture and thing overseas now. People asking him to build all kind. Of... That's it. That's the problem we have in Dominica. You know, we 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 are talented individuals here, and Dominica is stifling the people, literally, until they leave to go overseas to do things, and they elevating. All of them elevating people who actually want to do something with themselves. All of them elevating. All my friends who have gone overseas have elevated every single one of them. Some took two, three years for them to elevate, but they worked on it and they elevated themselves. All of them, we. Not some, you know. All of them. They were in Dominica. Ha, yeah, yeah. You know this what I tell you there, you know. But anyways, Melissa coming now. Degree Melissa, who apparently has no type of leverage in technology in Dominica. But she talking, man. Agricultural lands will be available for the young professionals right there. Free irrigation systems, greenhouses, and workforce for six months. So I guess you're going to be working for a company for six months. What happened next? Markets will also be sourced for your high-value crops, invest, and partners. So I guess people will be doing their work, and then they have to send it to that, that, that place. 
after the six months, what's gonna happen to them? So it's only for a time frame, six months time frame. Okay. All right. Markets will also be sourced for your high value crops. I thought Scared was saying that you have to do your own. Maybe I wrong. Let me see. The knowledge in accounting, the knowledge in, in business to manage this company and to manage the farm and to deal with and, and, and the knowledge of marketing to market the crops. Markets will also be sourced for your high value crops. Invest and partner with friends and family. Don't miss this red carpet offer to success. So where was it? so why did the red carpet wasn't there for the past seventeen years? It wasn't there, hmm? especially when things are going down. And no doubt about it, guys, agriculture is the best way forward. Is 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 it stated better late than never? True, but we wanna be far better than we are today. The world right now is in need of food. Obviously, better late than never. We can then produce for the people, and hopefully that works out for for for, for things. But a number of the people with the bright minds in agriculture they left. They left. I don't think people understand that, you know. They left. And Dice always said it properly. It's fighting a losing battle in my land. In my land. In my land. And most of the most educated people what they do? live in surrendered existence. So they have to leave. Like Kenty was saying in his song. And the best way to get into trouble is to try and liberate, liberate oppressed people. Oppress people. That's why it's not always the, the government, it's the people themselves that are equally as wicked and corrupt. Equally, and, like I said before, when people talk about election time and those kind of things, they, yes, they might bring people to tilt it, but the mere fact that people in Dominica who are facing this kind of hardship still going and vote for a mere $500, $1,000, they're going to. I myself. Who don't know where they stand, they don't understand that binding together people's power is the only solution for all land. But the government then decide to divide the people. You must be for us or you're not getting help. If you're against us, you you're not getting no type of help. I mean what do you want to shot cool me booty. Up? <laughs> People still free to talk in communist China hmm. and Venezuela. What is the big thing? People protesting. They want to shot we up. Are we not free to talk in Dominica hmm. and Antigua? Leaders them doing all kind of wrong things. Yep. And it's rather interesting that he's talking about Dominica and Antigua. And Dominica and Antigua are the people who are heavily reliant on CBI. Hmm. They even tried to send Chosky Dominica away for them to deport him <laughs> after Antigua had given him passport. I mean, take your all you kidnap me, me. <laughs> like Chosky. We are living in, in a communist country. country. <laughs> Guys, this is pretty much all about us for this year reaction video. I'm happy that the Prime Minister is going towards agriculture. That's a good thing. I think that is the best way for Dominica. Talk to, talk to any economist in the world. The and that knows about Dominica and Dominica's ability will tell you agriculture is the best way forward. It's rather unfortunate that it's too it's very late right now when you could have had a <coughs> guys give this video a thumbs up man. Let me know your thoughts in the comment box below. I'll see you guys in the next reaction video. Let me get my lunch. Boom bang.